Kanye West, is he actually right about some of the things that he's saying? But I understand and I'm not judging because the oppressed becomes the oppressor. And it is our time now. Blacks are coming into money. The Holocaust isn't Planned Parenthood. 9-11 isn't the Holocaust. Slavery wasn't the Holocaust. Well, some of it I pointed out today, but I don't what know you deeply bullshit, enough. Though? What was the bullshit? Jewish media, Jewish... That's not bullshit. Adidas has now officially severed ties with Kanye West, who of course legally changed his name to Ye. The German sportswear company is the latest brand to distance itself from him after a series of offensive anti-Semitic comments in recent days. Stop comparing tragedies. And yes, it, it doesn't matter. The bullshit is that the Jewish media no, no. won't admit... Your, your dad was right. <laughs> your dad was right. The, the words you used... The, you weren't the and point I you said it you're not gonna make me say it 800 more times we are not scared anymore and I showed you that I crossed that line they tried to bankrupt me they tried to say I was crazy did it resonate to y'all that y'all ain't do nothing about it and that all y'all want to do is have somebody apologize and sweep under the rug your bullshit that you've been doing the whole time you, you on the same bullshit as the other people so you're doing the same thing that the other, let's say media, because I'm not allowed to say, yeah. has done. So until somebody which is stands what? up. Which is what, man? Is, which is what? Is, I'm trying to call you out in your bullshit because I hope I'm somebody you can trust. I That's don't a can trust you. And I think this is something that Kanye West actually suggested we do as well. We kind of forget about history and take a look just at the engineering, the logical, rational side of all of this. Because for all of the emotional outrage that he causes when he says the words like the Jewish media, I mean, the media is kind of controlled by a lot of Jewish people out here. We can actually see here who controls your mind. This was a chart back in 2013. All of these red is Jewish people, right? So they own like Universal Studios, ABC News, CBS, CNN, Columbia Pictures, DreamWorks, Facebook, Google, also run by Jewish people, Yahoo, Marvel, Pixar, The New York Post, LucasArts, MSNBC, DreamWorks, Comcast, The New York Times, Comedy Central, Wall Street Journal. I mean, admittedly, a lot of these large media organizations and tech companies that are able to shape global narratives are run by Jewish people. If you look at all the owners of the NFL teams, it pretty much runs like an old fashioned slave auction. You ever see that scene in Django where all the white guys are sitting there with their cigar <laughs> and then the black dudes are literally beating the shit out of each other for their entertainment, killing each other. Oh, Big Mo and Big Mo's killing. Sorry, Big Mo for using that analogy, but I don't remember his name. Big Mike, whatever the and they're just killing each other with hammers, getting brain damage, running into each other. While well, Tom Brady's 45, the quarterback being protected by all the giant black dudes named DeMarcus who gets signed to the league every year. They make one, one percent, not even, probably like 0.001% of what these NFL owners make. Right. So I didn't realize that it was anti-Semitic to say, hey, you know, I have a Jewish attorney. I have a Jewish record label. I have a Jewish contractor. I have a. Do you Jewish... regret your statements? Are there statements you think you should be walking back? It shows him burning several pairs of his Yeezy shoes. That's the shoe line of Kanye West, who now goes by the name of Ye. Danny Schiff says he bought about 40 pairs of over the years, but after Ye's recent anti-Semitic comments. He is setting some of them on fire. Well, I think I think black people are showing white people that we'll forever be their slaves, and if they want to, we'll voluntarily go back to slavery. And, and this is why I say this. We ask to stand up to white folks all the time. We beg to stand up to white folks. Nick Cannon got on a platform and said the same thing to Kanye. He said. did. Guess what they did? He They grabbed his ass by a shirt. They even made him denounce Farrakhan. Now we got Ye, a billionaire, a billionaire who we watch come up out of Chicago. So here go Ye, he stand up. We all saying, yeah, he right. But boy, when they grab that baddest, that's always been a tactic. You take the baddest, bring him out in front of all the slaves, and you tie him up and you whoop him, and you whoop him, and you whoop him. And you whoop him. Just as he loses more sponsors over those anti-Semitic comments comes an allegation. He once praised Adolf Hitler during a TV appearance, but it was edited out. A shocking new allegation against Kanye West. 
Did he have a sick obsession with Hitler? He wanted to call the album Hitler and that it was really like the final hours before the album was going to come out that his camp was able to successfully get him to switch it to Yay, which is what it was called. Former TMZ employee Van Lathan says in a new podcast, he was there when it happened. He said something like, I love Hitler, I love Nazis. In front of all these slaves, this, this y'all baddest one, y'all richest one, he gonna stand up to us. And we all sit there and watch, don't nobody join in. No, no celebrity, no entertainer, Jay-Z punk ass turned on him. They whooping him, they whooping, they putting them lashes on his back. Then he find out, Toby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They still whooping him, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They still whooping him, he's still saying, I'm sorry. They won't stop whooping him. And we ain't said that's enough. We ain't stood up and said, fuck y'all, that, that's enough. We ain't playing no more basketball. We ain't doing nothing no more. Because we can all come together and shake our dick at them if we want to. We can really hurt the Jews. And they're in there on the booth at the top of the stadium smoking their cigars, watching black people get brain damage for their entertainment. Same thing with the, with the NBA. It's modern day slavery. The only difference is, sla we don't think of it as slavery now because you're getting paid. But the normal people who call Kanye crazy are all slaves to the financial system. We all pay taxes. We all are giving away our time and energy. We all work nine to five. We all give away, like we are slaves to the weekend. To five o'clock when we can clock out, which we don't think of that because they give us a certain amount of money, but they all put us in debt so that we just owe them consist. We are slaves who are getting paid. There's no difference. It's good that he's actually putting pressure on these people to renegotiate. Hey man, I'm actually trying to hold it together. You're pretty, you're pretty offensive towards, towards a lot. And I'm not looking to be offensive. I really want to bring people together and get these sales I know, done. But the word, I a hundred percent, I see your vision. How do we do but that? Somebody you care for, well, not don't say Jewish media and Jewish, Jewish controlled media. JM. Right now what I'm calling for the industry is I'm I'm calling I'm calling the industry out and saying like hey it just so happens that there's been times where I had my lawyer was Jewish my regular was Jewish but like like eight people that basically would collude and talk without me were in groups saying okay this is what the tour is going to be this is his next house and they were making all these decisions and they're making all this money and at the end I was like I ended my tour and I don't have the money and it just so happens that that's the case that what they were. But what I'm saying is, if everyone can say, hey, you can't point out this fact or we're going to say you're anti-Semitic and we're going to call you Hitler. I feel that there has to be at least one percent of safeguarding the ability to screw the artist based on saying it's anti-Semitic by pointing out that they just so happen to all be uh, Jewish.